Hey guys, Million Dollar Batchmaker here. Today we are discussing EDTA, a common food and cosmetic additive. We will address why it's used, how it works, and if it's good for you. This is disodium EDTA, a white lightweight powder. So what exactly makes it so special? Can you set it on fire? Not exactly. Can you electrocute it? That doesn't seem to help. Well, here's a hint. Quite often, EDTA is called the claw or the binder. And these are pet names that describe a chelating agent. Now, what does a chelating agent do? A chelating agent is basically a chemical agent used to sequester and decrease the reactivity of metal ions. This is an artist's representation of metal ions in a solution. After the addition of EDTA, the metal ions are bound and sequestered as seen here, decreasing their reactivity. And so now, the million dollar question, why is this important? To answer this, we have to explore the microscopic world. Tiny organisms like this little guy exist all throughout our ecosystem. And when they get their hands on metal ions, guess what? They multiply, and multiply, and multiply, and multiply, and you get the idea. Point is, EDTA helps control bacterial growth, as well as maintaining the clarity of a solution. Anyway, let's do a demonstration to see how all this works in practice. Here we are at our familiar stomping grounds of tank number four. What's in the tank is nothing special, just unfiltered tap water probably filled with minerals and maybe a few cleaning agents. In many countries, this is called hard water. And we are going to use this water to demonstrate visually the effectiveness of disodium EDTA in removing, or I should say, trapping and condensing certain impurities in a solution that we want to be relatively clean and clear. Oh, what's that you say? How do you know that the water's dirty? Million dollar batch maker could be saying anything. Well, I will bring out this. It's just a clump of dirt and metallic filings that I keep in my pocket. Nothing weird. Anyway, we're gonna let this concoction mix for another 10 to 15 minutes until things become more opaque. I need this to be opaque for this demonstration to work. You'll see why in a minute. Now, I know you guys are just dying for me to put in the disodium EDTA. So now I've got my shiny new spatula and my beaker and psych! Let's first go beneath the surface and see what's going on. Here we are, deep inside the opaque waters of tank 4. And wait, what's this? What's this? Oh my god, it's a picture of a puppy in a field of flowers. The last thing you expect when you go for a swim. Yet with so much muck in the water, it's hard to get a good picture of this adorable animal. Let's see if disodium EDTA can help us with that. So now we're just going to add this entire beaker of EDTA to tank number 4. Oh and FYI, disodium EDTA is typically added to a solution at only 0.1%. We're just going overboard. And there you have it. After adding EDTA, we've achieved a noticeable increase in picture clarity. Well, at least compared to before. Let's do some before and after videos just to really drive the point home. All I've got to say is, Photoshop, eat your heart out.
Here are some common forms of EDTA that are widely used in the consumer marketplace. And now, let's play a game. I'll show you the ingredient list of a product containing EDTA, and you guess what the product is, all right? So how about this one? Hellman's mayonnaise, good, good. And this one? Children's Advil. This should be easy. Dove Soft Soap. And we saved the best for last. I can't believe it's not butter. Once again, thanks for watching another episode with me. And as always, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Also, I answer all comments, should you have any questions or concerns. This is Million Dollar Batchmaker, signing out.